A data view is exactly what it sounds like. It is a view of your data. It is not a copy of your data, but it is another view of your data. Let me show you an example. You can see on the screen that I have a table. And when I click on this table, you can see that I have a data set connected called all wildfires larger than 1000 acres. That's the original name of my data set. And you can see that there are 1,419 records within that data set. Now, if I click on this table and look at my original data source, I can see that I am using the default of that data source, which includes every single record within that data source. If I were to click on this dropdown, I can see that I have another view of this data that only includes records that were more than 10,000 acres burned. So if I clicked on this view to connect that to my table instead, you can see that my table now updates and there are only 277 records now included in the table because I am utilizing a view of my data that has filter, filtered out all records that are less than 10,000. So what if I want to create another data view and this one I want to be more than 15,000 acres burned. I can click on this drop down arrow here and click on create view from this panel the configuration panel, or I could come over to my data panel and I could find my original data source and then come to the data view tab and create a view here. And you can see that the more than 10,000 acres burned is already an option. I'm going to go ahead and click on create a view from my data panel on the left. And I am going to name this more than 15,000 acres burned. And then I'm going to add my clause. And when you add a clause, you have to use the SQL expression builder. You cannot just write a SQL expression without using the builder. I'm going to go ahead and choose my field, which is going to be down towards the bottom. It's called total acres. And then I am going to choose my next parameter, is, and I'm going to have that be is at least. So my total acres is at least, and then I'm going to manually type in 15,000 without the comma. Now my expression is built, and you can see that there was a little bit of something that happened over here uh, with, with my records. I'm going to apply those changes, and now you can see that that is now an option for me to choose to connect to any of the widgets that I'm utilizing that data source within. I'm going to come back over to my configuration panel for my table, and when I click the drop down arrow, I can now see that I have another data view I can choose. I'm going to go ahead and choose that data view. And then you can see that the table updates. And now there are 205 records. So there's even less available. I am going to go ahead and go into live view. And then we're going to scroll over to where that total acres field is in the table. And then I am going to sort this so that you can see that 15,000 is the minimum and then 590,000 around 590,000 is the max. But you can see that it's when, when I don't sort that, it's just random, right? This top record is 188,000, the next one is 88,000, the next one is 129, and so on. Let's say I want this data set, this data view to be filtered so that the largest number of acreage burned is always the top record. And then it's descending from there. I can come over, click back into my configuration panel, and then click on this setting gears to the right of my data view. And then I can come over to the sort option of my data view, and I'm going to add a sort field. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the total acres burned, and I am going to sort that from largest to smallest by clicking on this descending icon here. If I click it again, it goes to ascending, but I want that to be descending. Now I'm going to apply those changes and you can see that my table does update again. I'm going to close my configuration panel and scroll over to the total acres field so we can see that my data view is now sorted. And now you can see a 590,000 acre burned fire is at the top and that it decreases accordingly.